I hope I didn't go through this too fast. My children are awake and they're playing and any minute they just run into my room. Like they just bust in here and they're like, mom. So I'm like, if I can film, I'm gonna try to get it done as fast as I can. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to do a quick walkthrough of february i'm going to share some things that i accomplished and then some things that i set out for myself to do that i didn't get done if you want to see how we did as far as our budget for february then i'm going to include that also so let's just get right into it this is my calendar view. This is so important for me because I get to see when my bills clear and then at the end of the month I come down and put my no spins. It helps me track my monthly challenge no spin days. So we'll go over this together. This is what we're going to do to wrap up this video. We'll come back to this sheet. Here is my budget for February. I had estimated a combined income of $6,951. Our actual was $6,165.03. We came in $785.97, less than what we estimated, which was fine because I was still able to pay all of our bills. And then January's debt snowball of $1,138.68 was applied to my smallest debt. So that's good. We'll come down here in a little bit, but now let's move over here to our debt trackers. So right now I have three debts. When I first started my channel, I had five. Now we're down to three and I was over a hundred and something thousand dollars worth of debt. Now our debt is below 67,000. Going into February, our debts all combined were $67,289.89. I have applied these payments here towards interest. These are the minimum payments. When I combine those figures for the month of February, we applied $2,771.62 towards our debt for the month of February. Here is where I will come in and I will put my new ending balances. Once I get those figures from online or in the mail, they do have to add interest, of course, and then I will update my ending balance here, and then I'll know how much debt I have moving into March. Right here is my savings. So for my cash envelope stuffing, for my first cash envelope stuffing for February, I was able to put in $61. Then for my second cash envelope stuffing for February, I was able to put $20. Combined, I was able to put $81 towards our three to six month emergency fund. So when you take the $81 plus the $4,535, that gives me $4,616 in that three to six month emergency fund. And then here down to debt snowball. I like to break everything down because if my honey asks me, hey, how much did we put towards saving? Boom. How much did we put towards debt? Boom. How much did we build our debt snowball to for February? Boom. It's right here. So for budget one, I was able to put $100. Budget two, I was able to put $30. And then this is extra rollover money from any envelopes. That was $40. So our debt snowball was $170 for the month of February. This debt snowball will be applied to March's smallest debt. So here is where I break it down. I have my debt snowball total. This is what we have in our three to six month emergency fund. It matches right here. These match right there. The total amount paid towards debt for this month was $2,771.62. When we do our monthly breakdown here, I take my income and I subtract all the money that went out and we were $23.89 under budget. So that's what this looks like here. Here is my sinking funds for the month of February. These are my categories. 
this is the beginning balance for the month of February. If we added, if we took out, if we added, if we took out, and then these are my ending balances here. And then this is my weekly budget number one. And then this was my second budget. And then this is my new weekly check-in layout, okay? I'm gonna do it like this because if you watch my videos for January, you would see that I was just running out of space. I needed two pages. And this is how it turned out. So this would be my gas groceries, my toiletries, my kids fun, my honey, my beauty, my dining, my kadema, and then my totals. This is a new way for me to track my weekly check-ins. As I was doing it, I realized that when my trackers that are inside my envelope were filled up, I threw them away. So then when I came to write it down, I couldn't remember what to write down. And I wasn't going to rack my brain over trying to figure it out because at that point it was I was just done but now I know not to throw away my trackers until I write these things down and then on this sheet was my transaction log anytime I spend anything from my cash spending envelopes that are in here gets written down here Anytime I spend anything from my sinking funds, it gets written down here. Speaking of that, we did do some spending from our sinking funds. I need to pull that money out and put it in my back to bank. Let's go ahead and put this back in. I don't have to whisper in this video because my kids are awake. All right. Okay. So there's that. These are the envelopes that I need to take from that I've used my debit card for something and I need to pull the money from here to put into my back to bank so that that money is replenished. If I'm using my debit card and I'm not putting the money back in there to cover those funds, well then guess what? I'm using money that's meant to pay bills and so I need to take from these to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I have my little notes here, and then I'm really going off of this sheet here. So this is gonna be on here too. For Dead Snowball, I need to take out $170 from here. 50, 100, 50, 70. Remember, this is the 170 that we collected. That's what we're pulling. And then it's very important for me to write on here 170 debt snowball payment because this payment is going to go through for March and when I initiate this payment in March I will be sitting there and I'll be like okay how much was my debt snowball payment and then I have to figure it out or I have to come over here and go through all my stuff so oh yeah so this two twenties are from two of my boys. They each bought a dinosaur online. They used my debit card. And so now I have to replenish the 20 bucks that they each used from my account. So one of my sons gave me 20, my other son gave me 20, and this, it goes back to bank for their dinosaur toys that they bought. And then this is going to be Dead Snowball. Then Medical. I had to pay the copay for one of my boys to get a cleaning, so I need 30 from here, which is 30. Put that there. Now how much do we have? It says we should have 46, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46. I did do the trackers before hand just so that I know how much to take out now giving I need to take $185 from giving 
because everything that I have in my giveaway, which is already posted on my channel, if you don't know about my giveaway, go watch my video that has my 1000 subscriber giveaway on title there. Watch it, see if you're interested in joining it. I am doing a collab with one of my great friends here on YouTube. She is amazing, her name is Tempest. However, let's get back to business. I'm already getting distracted. Okay, so I need to pull out $185 and I've already done it on the tracker. This is to replenish the money that I spent on my debit card, buying everything for my giveaway and to fund the cash that we're giving away on my giveaway and to compensate for shipping because I'm going to have to ship. We're doing international and international is expensive if you don't know already, but I'm just being prepared. For in case we have international winners, I need all of this to cover all those expenses for my giveaway. So we have 185, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 50, 70, 80, and 5. So 185 right there. Okay. And then wellness is going to get one. I need 100 from here to put back into the bank. 50. 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. I have 45 left. This was when I went to go get my pedicure done. Yep. And then birthdays, $27 is what I need from here. This was for one of my boys. I got him some stuff for his birthday and this was at Best Buy. We need a 27. So we have 25, 26, and 27. Annual bills. I needed $337 from annual bills. these figures and see we should have 170 30 185 127 bring it down zero it out you know I always double check every thing and it sucks because sometimes I still get it wrong so $849 is what we should have here in this stack 100, 50, 100, 50, 100, 50, 100, 50, 100, 50, 20, 40. I like to make stacks of 100s. So we have 50, 20, 40, 50. That's another 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60. 60, 80, 100, and 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 89, 90. What? Oh, plus the $40 that my boys had given me. Like, you get it? The 20 and the 20. So 889. Sorry, guys. 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 889 dollars. And this is going back to bank.
And now let's look at our goals and the things that we did accomplish for the month of February. And it all comes down to this area right here. Okay. We wanted to host our our homeschool director board meeting. That happened. It was done. I wanted to volunteer this month. That was a good one. Deadline review. What that means to me when I see that is I sit and I go over everything as far as deadlines and due dates for my full-time job and my side business. And I write everything down. I put it in my calendar and I make sure that I am ready and well prepared to meet all those deadlines. And I did. I wanted to do the $1 and $5 challenge, which we did. I say we because my children, my husband, and myself were all doing that. I cannot wait to share with you all the next cash money drop into the box because you're going to be so surprised at how well we're doing. And then I wanted to save $200 towards this month for our savings. That I did not do. We only did the one seven. No, hold on. We only did the $81 into our savings. So that I cannot cross off. So that's an X. I wanted to do a hundred dollar debt snowball. We did 170, which is good. I wanted to work out three times per week. That did not happen. I wanted to eat healthy 80% of the month. That did not happen. And relax. I was forced to relax that whole week that we had no internet. So that happened. I wanted to have 12 no spin days. And we had... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That was accomplished because we had 14. Yay. So that is what the month of February looks like for us. These are all the things that we accomplished. And these are some of the things that we didn't hit or accomplish this month. And that is perfectly okay because there is always room for improvement. There is always opportunity to learn more and do better. And that is what this journey is all about. It is not focusing on our shortcomings. It is, it's just inspiring and motivating to see these things written down so I can flip back and just see exactly what is going on with our funds and with our journey. So if you enjoyed this video, please put a thumbs up leave a comment and if you have any reconstructive criticism please let me know in the comments below trust me that does not hurt my feelings and if you haven't already watch my giveaway video if you haven't already entered then go over there and check it out but all right i gotta go bye guys <laughs>